this mission with the kids. Hey. Good girl. Hey. There's a good girl. So today's trick is going to be Play Dead. It's from Kira's 101 Dog Tricks, and it's on page 32. And it looks like that. Now, there are two versions of Play Dead. There's the boneless dog version that Layla demonstrates, and then there's the traditional canary in a coal mine like Kira shows in her book, where the dog is flat on their spine with their feet in the air. And that is, admittedly, absolutely adorable as a trick. But not every dog is really comfortable laying on their spine. So you kind of want to pay attention to what your dog is telling you. If they don't want to be on their spine, just do the flat boneless dog version. And I will accept both. This is actually an advanced trick, so it counts as two points if your dog does it without a food lure in either your novice or intermediate title. And the way we teach this is we start the dog in a down and we just gradually have them lay further and further over onto their side. So for the boneless dog version, when they're on their side, then we reward, reward with the food on the ground so their head is down. Uh, you want the head flat on the ground, the feet flat on the ground. And for the canary in a cold mine version, you just sort of keep going until they're on their back. You may, if you go for this version, you may actually end up teaching the rollover first because especially when dogs aren't comfortable on the back, they're just going to keep going. If they're flipping over and you think that they're comfortable laying on their back, you're feeding too late. So just go slower in how far over you take the dog. Now you'll notice in the video that I have my dogs on a folded up comforter. And I do that because I want them to be very comfortable um, doing this trick. I don't want them on a hard surface. I personally have a lot of arthritis in my spine, so does Layla. <laughs> and when I do uh, Pilates, I know if I don't pad my back properly, it isn't just uncomfortable, it flat out hurts. So listen to your dog, pay attention to what they're doing, and have fun with the trick. Now the other thing I wanted to say about the flat dog version is it has some advantages in um, real life. And we'll talk about that once I get Layla out to show you what I mean. So the boneless dog version has a few more practical applications um, than the, the canary version. Because the boneless dog version you can, or bang, good girl, stay, you can use to massage your dog, get them to relax, under touch, and stretch them out before competition in agility, fly ball, obedience, lower coursing, anything like that. Give me a good stretch. Good girl.
Good job, buddy.